Hey everybody, Patrick here with Rap Ford. It's July 15th, 2013, and this is Monday Night Paintball. All right guys, time for some paintball news and industry trends. TXR Paintball, in association with Viper Paintball, are putting on a pretty cool scenario this November on the 8th through the 10th called The Sixth Gun. And if you register before the 11th, it's going to be $45 admission to the three-day event, as well as $65 per case of paint. Looks like a pretty cool scenario written to happen right after the Civil War in the American West. Looks like PSP has made an interesting change to the rules now. The dead box, instead of being able to see out of, it's actually opaque. So now players in the box won't know where the enemy's at on the field before they respawn. Should add an interesting dynamic to the game. It's definitely going to change things up when players come out expecting to get shot at, whereas they might have come out with confidence knowing nobody was there. There's a cool scenario going down in Platte Kill, New York on August 3rd and 4th being put on by Paintball Sports Incorporated. The scenario is called Iron Throne. It's going to be $34.99 for admission and $59.99 per case of paint. Our official team, ODSC, has been hosting monthly MAGFED games at SC Village in Southern California. The next one's going to be August 11th. It's sure to be a big hit. Go ahead and check out all the pictures that they posted already from the event, and later on this week, there will be a pretty cool video showing all the action. We're trying to get the word out about MAGFED. The ODSC guys are giving us a big hand down there. So if you're familiar with MAGFED or if you've never played, go ahead and link up with them and get some trigger time out there. MAGFED's a totally different game. It's different pace, different tactics. Definitely is catching on in the paintball community, and we're really happy to see it spread. All right, guys, for this week's tactical tip, we're going to be talking about reloading while prone. Okay, so the scenario is you are in the prone position, like I am right now, and you're shooting. Bang, 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 click. You hear the bolt lock on the lock bolt system, meaning you're out of ammo. And now what? Well, if you're laying on your magazines, um, if they're on your hip, you might be lucky. That's a lot simpler process to reload prone. Now, that's another reason why I recommend bag pouches off of a battle belt or just any kind of pistol belt. But for the most part, most people are rocking them on their stomach, on their vest, whatever kind of chest rig they have set up. Okay, so it's gonna look like this. Bang, 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 click, roll over, chamber check, press some mag release, roll over on my right hand side, use my short hand to strip the old magazine out, take the new one in, insert with confidence, charge your handle and get back on target. Now for those of you who are rocking different positions like urban prone, that's pretty popular right now in the shooting community, basically laying on your side like this, and shooting, and the reason that's really popular is because my entire upper body is the exact same way that it would be if I was taking a knee or standing, so my uh, shooting position doesn't change, and therefore my mag drills won't change either as far as my reloads. Everything stays consistent, and consistency is key, but it's also not always appropriate uh, depending on the terrain. So if you are doing urban prone, laying on your side like this, um, just follow standard reload procedures. Um, hopefully you're not on the hip that has your mags. If you are, just, I mean, just wiggle one out, I guess. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And remember, Monday Night Paintball is your show. We make it from the content generated from our Facebook page. So if there's anything you'd like to see in next week's episode, just go to facebook.com slash rap4usa and let us know. Looking forward to hearing from you. We'll see you out there.